Hello, let's go over some of the different projects that we're going to be doing throughout the semester. So first of all, you'll notice I'm back on my website and the things that are on my website, I'm going to show you a few things, but I also want to show you some in a PowerPoint. To begin with, if you'd like to look through some of the different projects of student examples, you can most definitely go to the sixth grade art projects on Mrs. Rao's art class at Weeb or Weebly.com and that is on your hello letter down at the bottom. Um, so some of the different projects we're going to be doing, so if I click on one of these you can see some of the different student examples and these are some from last year and some from last quarter so there's a little bit of a mix here of different projects. So feel free to go through and look up more projects but right now I'd like to show you the things that we're going to be talking about throughout the semester. To begin with you will first of all, re um, let's go from the beginning here, so what you should know is that there are two quarters, so you're going to be here for the rest of the year, which is a whole semester. And to begin with, we're going to be doing um, third quarter all 2D projects. 2D projects means that they're going to be all flat. That means that they're all going to be um, drawing and painting and things like that. And third, fourth quarter, fourth quarter, we're going to be doing all of our 3D art. All of the 3D art is going to be all of the clay and anything else that you would consider kind of like a building sort of thing. So let's go ahead and get started with, um, this is our 2D art and to begin with we have some different projects. We're going to be doing our beginning with some drawing and we do drawing and shading. We're also going to be doing some cartooning that's an extension off of our drawing unit. However, it's kind of a little bit of a different take on drawing. We're going to be doing digital photography and in digital photography, um, well we'll get there a little bit more, we have graphic design and painting and typography and design. Now I do want to let you know that I plan to go through all of these, that's always my hope, but however, kind of depending on how long the class is taking, we sometimes get to everything and sometimes we don't. So let's go ahead and talk a, a little bit more specific. To begin with, our first project that we're going to be doing is talking about how to work a little bit more three-dimensionally in space, and we're going to do that with a ribbon design. So we're going to be doing some drawing, going to learn how to do some overlapping and some shading to go along with this. Next what we have is some creative drawing and with our creative drawing what you should notice is now you can see the whole screen uh, we're gonna mix in a little bit of realism so we have the hand that's drawn here and we're gonna move well, we're also going to add in something called surrealism surrealism is you have some real objects here however they are doing things that can't actually normally happen with them. So we have uh, one of my magnet men that goes on the board jumping into a water. We have the hammer, um, kind of all imaginary. So a little bit of realism with surrealism, things that can't happen. Our next one we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a caricature. In your caricature, this is your cartooning part, and with this you're going to be taking a picture of yourself. This is um, not a student, this is actually um, an actor and with this you're going to be talking about what are some of your features, what are some of the things that really make you stand out as you. So in this picture he's got the curly hair, he's got kind of like a roundish face this, and kind of close set eyes so all of that really comes through on his cartoon a little bit more. You're going to be able to kind of explain who you are a little bit more through your caricature and how that goes together. Another one here, this is our digital photography. With digital photography I do have cameras that we're going to go out and usually on a nice day so hopefully we'll plan that for a nice day, not right now probably. So we have um, different words that I'm going to give you a focus on. So on this one their word was lines. So all of your words are going to be art words and this one is lines and they had to go out and kind of look at things in an abstract and new and different way. After we took pictures we also came inside and used the computers so that we could um, kind of alter the image if you wanted to make it darker or lighter or even different colors. So you get to work with your digital photography in a couple of different ways. Our next one here, this is one that we did skip over first quarter, so we'll see what we kind of have time for. This one is playing around with letters and 
um, kind of making new fonts and thinking about when you go to type in a um, letter if you're using the computer and you have different fonts there are actually artisans who are creating those different fonts and different lettering designs so we'll take a little bit closer of a look at that this is graphic design with graphic design we usually um, take someone who is kind of like a client so a client is someone that we're going to be doing this for and this ends up to be a little bit of a contest last year we used the Southern Ed Camp Illinois which uh, Mr. Ackerman actually supplied us with this idea and he was creating something for teachers and um, like a workshop for teachers and he wanted these words he also wanted to have uh, this apple. This apple is very specific. You can see that they're different colors though. Um, something else that he wanted is he wanted it to be something about Southern Illinois. So we kind of gave students all of those guidelines and put it all together. You might also have noticed the sign that's on the my bat or on my front door, or there's also an art sign. Um, over in the back of the room there's also a library sign we have different teachers from around the school who we use as clients and they give us some instruction on what they're kind of looking for with a sign of some sort and we try to deliver that um, painting project with our painting we look at the art from the 60s and we really try to also look at and talk about how to do some color blending so this ends up to talk about uh, a lot about the color wheel and how to blend colors and uh, the artwork from the 60s. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about our next one, which is our 3D art, which is our second semester. The second quarter of 3D or 3D art. So in this one, um, this is actually going to be your fourth quarter. So in here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on all of our 3D art. Now I will let you know that you'll notice that there are less projects. Usually the 3D art projects take a little bit less time, or I'm sorry, more time, and the 2D take less time. So with the 2D art, usually most of those projects are going to be about a week to a week and a half long, so usually um, five to seven days. And with our 3D art, they usually take somewhere in the more of like a week and a half to two weeks. So you can kind of expect a little bit longer with this. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different projects. We have clay, and with our clay, we do two clay projects. And our beginner one here, we have, oh, that one was not supposed to go back. Hang on just a minute. So with our clay tiles, we start off talking about clay and working with some clay carving. And we also do some clay additions. So we look at how to carve the clay away and make a, um, area that's lower and also how to do an area that's raised up adding your clay. Now that leads us into you have now some knowledge and some skills so that we can do um, something more difficult with clay which is our clay gargoyles. With this your, the clay gargoyles are expected to stand on their own and be structurally sound. Also a lot of your additions here and things that you add on and Something else I expect is them to all be texturized. So we go through and talk about all the different points with your gargoyles. We also add in some medieval history along with that, which is where our gargoyles came from. One that we did not unfortunately get to last semester was our fiber arts. And with our fiber arts, that is making a dream catcher, working with yarn and string. It has some basic beginner things to go along with some sewing too. And in the past, we did do this last year. I'm hoping to do it this um, fourth quarter. But what we did with these is you had a choice of creating a bowl or a dream catchers. Our next one, we work with some paper mache. And with your paper mache, we're going to do masks. And with your masks, uh, what I have is mask molds, so everybody has like the same sort of face. Then after you have your mask molds, we're going to add some different um, texture and details and additions onto this. So you get to build up and move your uh, projects out in different ways so that they all look very individualized. 
We also have another project which is commercial art. This often is a favorite among students and with this one, commercial art, you're going to be working on an advertisement with a partner and for this you come up with a uh, product that is brand new. So we have Energy Kid. This one was um, the LB. This is a new shoe. But with this one, we have the title. We also have the logo. We have the slogan. You're going to create that on a computer. And then, last but not least, we also videotape a commercial. You're, so you're going to write a commercial, talk about um, your product, and we'll be playing those for the class. That always ends up to be fun. All right, so that is all of our sixth grade 3D art. I hope you enjoy.